Kahala Yahweh by Shiva Mashiach Yahweh Shai by Hashem Marak Hakradesh, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakatham to the Akiyam and Wakiyam out there keeping this word truth in all sincerity, teaching the downfall of Esau, the heathens in the two thirds. Um, today I'm just going to go ahead and go over this uh, little video I seen. It's, it was put out about two weeks ago, and it, it's talking about how Trump is going to take away the uh, food stamps. And it's talking about how much money is going to be saved. And, um, you know, this goes into the to the Bible. You know, this is part of uh, one of those things where it's going to be like, you know, famine. You know, you, you're not going to be able to eat because they're taking away your, your, your food. And not just the famine, like the famine, like the food's not growing and all that. But this is, I mean, it's a start to a lot of the prophecy and the things that we've been seeing, because you women that just sit here and get on these food stamps, get this child support and all this stuff, uh, your days are coming to an end. You know, like the Bible says, he's going to speed up the days for the elect. So uh, he's he's going to hurry up and get us out of here. You know, so all you women that, you know, think that you could just depend on Esau or depend on the government and, you know, that they're going to take care of you. No, nah, that's not that that's coming to an end. You know, it's already to the point that I was telling some co-workers that, uh, well, a co-worker that's talking to a female out in California uh, that, you know, even though she's talking about the Bible and all kinds of stuff and talking about who's cooking breakfast for you and, um, you know, you need a woman to cook breakfast for you. The, and I told her, I was like, you know, if she's not down with Isaiah 4 and 1, then even though she's saying she's a Catholic and all that, <laughs> Then, uh, you know, she's, you know, she really ain't re really here to see serve you. She just wants your resources because with all these fires and everything going on in California, there's going to be a lot of people coming up out of there. And I mean, even even in different states, people are just going to be these women are going to start trying to flock to other men, you know, just so they can have a place to stay. And, you know, I told him I was like, if she's such a great woman, then why the heck is she still on the market? You know, why Why is she sending you naked pictures, you know, of her body, you know, and, you know, trying to basically, uh, what's the word that I'm trying to, trying to, uh, trying to use? She's trying to get into your, his mind, you know, by using her body and using sex, you know, but, you know. The wickedness of the woman will destroy men. You know, men men are dying because of the wickedness of these women. They're not coming to really serve you. And if they're not coming to serve, realistically, like I told them, you know, everything needs to be decent and in order. And if she's not down to serve, you know, the most high, you know, then, you know, how about Shimei Shai? Then she's not really there to serve you. She's just there to, to hold you down and hold you back. You know, like the Bible says, a man who gains a wife, uh, it gets a possession and you know a possession is something that you own and some of these women are these women are possessed you know so you know it also says beware of dogs and evil doers and a lot of these women are bitches so you gotta beware of them you know so i'm just gonna play this video real quick today is going forward with a plan to kick nearly 700,000 people off of food stamps administration formalizing a rule that makes it harder for states to waive federal standards around who can qualify for the food stamp program, which is now known as SNAP. On a call with reporters today, Agricultural Secretary Sonny Perdue said the change was designed to both save money and, quote, restore the dignity of work to food stamp recipients. What it boils down to is the government saying that in many areas, if you cannot find a job, then you just can't get food stamps. The USDA says the work requirement rule would save the government $5.5 billion over five years. That is a bit more than a billion dollars a year. Just for context here, the Trump administration has authorized $16 billion this year alone to make welfare payments to agribusiness affected by Trump's trade war. The rule announced today represents just one phase of Trump's planned cuts for the nation's 36.4 million food stamp recipients. If and when two other initiatives take effect, the Urban Institute, which studies this sort of thing, estimates the measures would together cut 3.7 million beneficiaries from the SNAP program. Critics say this is a completely unnecessary attack on the poorest Americans and their ability to feed themselves. And joining me now is one of those critics, Democratic Senator Debbie Stabenow of Michigan, the top Democrat on the Senate Agriculture Committee. Senator. 
I'm not going to go ahead and play the rest of it, but, you know, the, it, it, you know, people going to be hungry. You know, they're going to be hungry. I mean, it says right here that in Isaiah 30, 30 uh, in Isaiah 65 and 13, it says, Therefore, th thus saith the Lord God, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And those people that didn't want to worship Yahweh by Shimei Shai, but they want to depend on the government, they about to be, they, they about to be stuck. You know what I mean? And, they, and you know all these women, they sit here, they depend on uh, these uh, these uh, these EBT cards and everything else, so they could buy all their their food and get their get their clothing and you know, take care of their hair and make their self look like, uh, you know, be whores so they could be out here and be whores in the street. And, you know, the Bible says that there shall be no whores of the daughters of Zion or no sodomites of the uh, princes of, uh, uh, or no so or no sodomites either for, you know, the princes. So like I messed that up. But Isaiah 3 and 24, it says, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And instead of a girdle of rent, and instead of a well-set hair, uh, slack it. And instead of well set hair baldness, and instead of a stomacher, a uh, stomacher, a uh, girding of slack cloth, and a burning ins instead of beauty. So these women, you guys are about to get it. You know, you used to use all these EBT cards and all this to go buy your stuff. You know, get your hair all nice. You know, eat all the food and steak that you wanted. But guess what? You ain't gonna be able to do that no more. Guess what? You gonna be needing a man of the Lord because you ain't trying to work. And, you know, you guys had an obsession with money and, and you guys wanted the money over the men of the Lord. You wanted to go ahead and kick him out the house because you wanted to depend on EBT because you thought Esau was going to continue giving you, giving you, giving you, uh, giving you money and stuff. And it says right here, first Timothy six and 10, it says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. And these women are evil, <laughs> which while some covered, uh, covet after they have erred from their faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So these women are about to have many, many sorrows up on them. Many sorrows. You know, they depended upon this food stamps. And now that they're going to they're gonna end up paying for it, you know. They depended on it. They're going to pay. And I mean, I know that Isaiah, uh, the Isaiah 65 and uh, 13, the one I just read, is more talking about the famine, famine. But still, this, that still kind of relates to this, too, because a lot of you women are about to be fucking hungry. You don't want to get up and work and you can't work because you got kids by different baby daddies. You can't even afford to take their ass to daycares. Your kids is bad as fuck. Don't nobody want to watch them. You know, <laughs> don't nobody want to watch them. Don't nobody want to fucking deal with you. You know, so you got an attitude. You don't know how to work. You know, and then you didn't want to serve the man because you were in love with money. You thought you was just going to get the money for free, kick the man out the house, use the kids against them. But now you're about to get fucked up for what you did. You about to you about to reap what you sowed. You know, you about to you about to get reap what you sowed. You about to be hungry. You ain't going to be looking good. You ain't going to be able to get your hair done. You about to run out of all the little shit that you had. You already you bitches already stink. You already stink, but now you ain't gonna be able to buy the soaps and things that you need to make yourself look pretty or make yourself think you look pretty because all that shit's fucking your face up anyway. You're only using a mask, so you about to pay for it. You're about to pay. This is what you get for wanting to be strong and independent. You're not strong. You're not independent. You're just independently destroying yourself. You know, there's no man helping you destroy yourself. You're doing it to yourself, thinking that you want to be in the role of a man. But you cannot get into the kingdom without a man. That's why it says do everything. That's why he, the. That's why it says do everything decent and in order. And the order is man is above woman, and above man is Yahweh Shai, and above Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. So there's an order right there. And if you're not willing to deal with the order, you're not willing to be in your place. You're gonna starve. You're gonna fucking starve. You're gonna be hungry. You're gonna be out here selling your vagina just so you can eat. You think people think that it's a game, you know, I'd be trying to tell tell these people that this is not a game. You got little 11 and 12 year old girls in Venezuela selling herself for a plate of food like that plate of food in in that woman's hand right there. And it might not even be that big. 
You're not going to be able to feed your children. Your children are going to be like, I'm hungry. You're going to be sitting there like, I know, baby. I, you, when you don't really even give a fuck about your kids. Because if you gave a fuck, you would stay in your position and let the man be on top of you. All you had to do, you had an easy ass job, you know, but you can't be satisfied. You want to be in love with money. You want to try to rule over stuff. You had an easy ass job. Your job was to please your husband, to be a pillar of rest. You women don't even know what it means to be a woman. Do you know that the word woman means female servant? Look up the etymology of it. If you are not trying to serve him, then you, you know, then you're not trying to serve the most high. And you can't sit up there and say, oh, I love Jesus or whatever you guys try to say. You know, I, I got a personal relationship with them. No, you don't, because you have to go through man. He said, do everything decent and in order. In order for us to get to Yahweh, we got to go through Yahweh Shai. In order for you to get to Yahweh Shai, you got to go through your husband, your head. That's why the Bible says that uh, that um, to submit to your husband as you would the Lord, as you would Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. When you tell your husband no, when you kick him out the house, you kick Yahweh Bashim Yahshai out the house. When you take those food stamps and not your husband, then you taking that money. That love of money over the most high. How about Shimmy outside? You women are messing yourself up. You're destroying yourself. That's why your kids have no knowledge. You're not teaching them nothing. Your kids wandering, running around, wondering if they dad love them and everything else. If their Abba, their father love them. When their fathers do love them. It's you wicked ass women. You women are wicked and you are evil. And you're going to pay for what you did. And you're going to pay for what you're doing. Like it's like they're saying in this video, if you can't get a job, then you ain't getting food stamps. So if you can't get a job, you ain't getting food stamps. You about to lose your food stamps and you probably about to lose your house. So now you about to be out on these streets. So you really going to be out here running around holding some balls or doing whatever you want or even getting pregnant even more, creating more kids. You women have gone against you. How about Shimmy Shai to the extreme? He said that you're going to, you know, you're supposed to bleed monthly. And he said that you're going to... uh that you're going to, uh, you're, you're supposed to have pain when you give birth. But what do you women do? You get epidurals. That's why it says you should, you would be saved in childbearing. This is in the day that's coming up, you know, in the future. You're going to be saved in childbearing, you know, with the, by a man of the Lord. Because it says a man shall be a hiding place from the wind, which means destruction. And then when he says it's saved in childbearing too, he's talking about the part where you're you're going to, you women are going to, you see, when you can't run to the hospital, you're not going to be able to go and have these kids if you got an issue. You know, you're just going to die because you get, you might have a delivery problem. And then you might, you might die because of the pain. You're not going to be saved in childbearing then. Bear, you're going to be bearing that pain. So that, you know, you're not, so however your ass acted, that's the pain level he gonna put up on your ass when that baby come ripping out your vagina. And trust me, in this day coming up, you think men are gonna be wearing condoms when they raping and ravishing you guys? Cause that's what's gonna happen. What you think, you just gonna be out on the street and ain't shit gonna happen to you? Is that what you think? You think that, you know, oh, you're just gonna join the military and all that? You see that the military talk, they already signed a, Trump already signed a decision to be able to, draft women down to the age of 17 and it's going to get even lower than that they're trying to do 16 do you what do you think is going to happen to these 16 to 17 year old girls over here with bullets flying over their head blood leaking out there down their leg smelling like shit you guys gonna stink you gonna get raped by the u.s side you, and go ahead and go over there to afghanistan they gonna take you too they gonna rape the shit out of you they don't care they do not care and as this the police there was a police officer that posted something the other day Talking about the sex trafficking and stuff. You women are going to be getting kidnapped and stuff. He's like, once you get kidnapped, they cannot find you. There is nothing they could do for you. But you don't want to head. And then you guys want to sit here and complain later on talking about why is none of the men standing up for us? Because you kicked them the fuck out the house. And why would they stand up for you? You're not a woman. You know what I mean? You're not a woman. Because you don't act like a woman. You're not wearing dresses. You're wearing pants. You're wearing yoga pants. Your vagina stinks. That's not a womanly thing. You're supposed to take baths. You're supposed to let water go inside of your vagina because you have an open cavity to clean you out. And you should be using essential oils. It's as simple as that. But you're not going to be able to do that anymore. And not that you were doing it in the first place. But you're really not going to be doing it anymore because you're about to lose your money.
What you think you guys are all you you know there's so many women in the strip clubs as, as it is already and ain't none of them making money. <laughs> you go to these strip clubs and see the same whack ass niggas that you was already dealing with, and these motherfuckers ain't paying you. You know they get they may get you high, they may get you high, but you're gonna have to work for even that. But how you gonna feed your kids off you being high? How how is that gonna help you? Because a lot of these. Now, there's a difference between, you know, these women that are like the harlots and you women that go to these works, you go to these jobs and and uh, and you, you become a you become a harlot. You know, what I mean, you become a hoe and you got a husband at home. You, you're going to pay the you're going to ra- you're going to pay the consequences for that. Now, there's going to be women that are in the strip club that are actually probably doing cocaine right now just so they can feed their kids. They have no other option that that don't want to do what they're doing, you know, that are doing the drugs just so they could get through that day, you know, just so they can feed their kids. And I know this sounds like a little hypocrite thing of what I'm saying, because I just said that you guys versus them, because some harlots will be saved, will be part of the one third. The difference is you women were being you're being lazy. You had a man at home. You had this. You decided to do that. Those women may have lost their husband. They may have died. Or something and they had no choice but to do that because they had nothing else to do and they need to pay those bills so it, it, you got to be able to see the difference in, in between it you know it's like if somebody stole an orange to eat because they had no money versus somebody had a pocket full of money and they stole an orange you know what i mean like one was dying trying to eat the other one was being greedy so there's a difference I mean, I'm not saying that there's not going to be punishment on both, but I'm just saying the punishment will probably be a little less harsh for the one that didn't have any food at all or money. But you guys, uh, you had the opportunity to be women. You're not you're not a woman. So when you hit a man and he hits you back, that's because you're not a woman. Don't be like, oh, I'm a woman now. Well, you're only a woman after when it comes to the consequence. When it's time to receive the consequence, that's when you want to say you're a woman. No, that's not how it's going to be. You're going to get judged. You're going to be judged and you're going to be called exactly what you are. And he says there shall be no whores of the daughters of Zion. So if you say only God could judge you or your how about Shimei Shai could judge you, he's already telling you there should be no whores. So he's going to call you a whore to your face. So don't think that you ain't going to get your head cut off. Don't think that, you know, like for you men that's hearing this, don't be don't bitch up when these women get their consequences. You better sit there and you better fucking laugh. You better be cheering. You be you better cheer because these women have wronged us for so long. They didn't took our kids. They didn't use that against us. They didn't semen jacked us. These women are evil and they need to pay the consequences. And how about Shimmy Shai is going to make sure of that. So with that said. I hope this was edifying. I just want to say, call Hala, Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Hara Kakradesh, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakatham. Keep, keep, keep this truth in all, all sincerity. If you fall down, get your ass back up. Like if we running. Right now, it's like we running. You know what I mean? Be ready to be on your pilgrim at any time. So, you know. If you fall down, get your ass back up and keep running because you know what? We ain't got time to be be laying on the ground talking about owie. You know what I mean? Get your ass up. Your brothers, your Akium is here. We picking you up. You know, get your ass up and get back on it. If you ain't posting videos, post some videos. Do the scripture. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, like Ari Malek, wrath of heaven, spiritual weapons created for vengeance. Like he said, he says, if you ain't, if you ain't, Follow on Elder Tahar's, Tahar, Elder Tahar's orders, then you got judgment up on your head. So remember that because uh, he said in the book of Ecclesiastics, um, it says that we entered into a covenant. And and if you don't if you don't want to worship Yahweh by Shimei outside, then you shall be killed, whether great, small, man or woman, or child. So. And I may have messed that up a little bit, Salakia. So that means that you need to get your ass in order. Because if you hear, even if you listening to the word and you hearing the word and you not doing nothing, saying nothing to nobody, posting nothing, even if you just posting a verse online on Instagram, Snapchat, you know, uh, Twitter, if you ain't doing nothing at all for somebody that might need to see it because they might just go on your page and need to see it and you let them fall, 
and you didn't help them out, your ass got consequence. The blood is on your hands, you know, and if you tell them the truth and they deny it, then the blood is still off your hands, you know. So make sure you out here just telling, you know, if people ask, tell. Don't be scared. Don't be one of them little bitches that's scared to pray in public. Don't be no bitch. Man the fuck up. You ain't no bitch when you want to go sneak in somebody else's house and fuck their wives. You a nasty nigga. You know, you know what I'm saying? So don't be no bitch now. Man the fuck up. You know, don't be all, oh, you know, down with Esau, but you ain't down to do no fucking scriptures or post no videos. Repost something. Put up a scripture. If that's all you could do on YouTube, put up a scripture. Because you, if you weak now, you're going to be the same bitch when everybody come and they start asking questions about, hey, were you making these videos? You're going to be the bitch say, no, I wasn't part of it. I didn't say nothing on Men of Valor's page or, or GMS, uh, you know, Mississippi or whichever page you was on, you know, or Men, uh, Men of Valor DTA. I, I didn't roll with them. I never heard the word. You're going to be just like all the disciples back in the day. But we ain't doing that now. D you either get down or you get laid down now. You this is you ain't got no choice. This time goes to death. There ain't no <laughs> there ain't no second chance after this. Get your ass in order. At least try to be a one third. I mean, shoot for the hundred forty four. But if you know, at least if he be like, well, you didn't make it to hundred to the hundred forty four. But you know, at least you a one third. It's better than being a two third. Better than catching that that fucking fire. So, you, I mean, do something, you know, do something, <laughs> do something, you know what I mean? Do something. All right, Shalom.